Radio Hereford FC, the only station with full match commentaries of the Bulls, every game, every week. Hello and welcome to We're Going Down the Pub with me, Frank oh, Williams, yeah. and the great Simon oh, Wright. Oh, the great, oh my life. Because we are starting in. on the ground, guys, oh, yes. for the 2017-18 season in the Evo Stick Southern League Premier. And uh, we're going to be looking at our first away game of the season. In fact, our first game of the season. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's King's Langley. Yay, interesting one. On the outskirts of London. Yep, indeed. And we'll say first of all, big shout out to Nick Jones. We gave him some stick last uh, podcast, didn't yep. we? But told him put him under pressure. Him. And in the end, he bamboozled you with 1,100 words he said <laughs> yeah. through, which you had to scale down. <laughs> indeed. Now look, during yep. our last podcast, you yep. said that you got uh, that you got a secret about King's oh, Langley yes. that you were going to reveal to us. Well, it's, it's not really a secret. It's more sort of I'm, I'm always aware of a record, perhaps that isn't right. terribly well known. Um, and the record, they're joint holders of a non-league record, and it's the fact that they are one of only three English clubs who have managed three straight promotions. That's a record that we're after to try and equal. Absolutely. I mean, that's, this season. that's, you know... And now, is that promotions or championships? That's promotions. That's just promotions. It is so right. rare okay. to do three yeah. in a row. Yeah. And the others um, were Chester... FC right, and yes. FC United. Yes. yes. Um, Kings Langley are a village club. Yes. On earth they did it, I've no idea because they're well, certainly I've not bankrupt. I've seen the photographs that Nick sent yes. through, and I must say, I, I, I mean, I'm really, I'm, well, I'm not worried about this one. Mm. It's, it reminds quaint. me of Lark Hall. Yes, it's quite very, quaint, very similar it? to yeah. Lark Hall, but there are grounds in the Midland Premier that. Well, yeah, uh, would put Kings Langley to shame. It, mm. They mm. might have got up three promotions, but their ground hasn't. Uh, no, kept up, that's really. r absolutely right. Um, you know, we we I suppose we just have to, to, to note they are a village club. As recently as 2013, they were in step six. That's Peggy Junior's level. Three years later, they're in step three, and it was a shock to all of them. Um, last season, they struggled desperately to hang on to their new status. And it went right down to the wire on the last day. They played Sirencester at home. Winner, te winner stays up, basically. Yeah. And they won. So Sirencester went down, which is a bit of a blow for us, because they were near near to where we are. But anyway, the attendance for that shootout, if you like, 645. Is that their ground record? It's a ground record, Ooh. yes. So there we are, Bulls fans. Yeah, there you go. 645 is the one to beat. Yeah, can we beat it? Yeah. Um, it Strange, really, because that one gate bumped up their average for the season from 130 to 165. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Right, OK. The average went up the by average, 35 yeah, yeah. over 21 games. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, they are, the, they have the sec even with that late surge, it's still the second lowest behind Dunstable. Right. Um, so you can imagine they don't have a lot of money to throw around. Yeah, I think we'd be mm. looking for the London Bulls to come yeah. and help us out there and see Wouldn't if we can break that record. I, I mean, poor London Bulls, they've had it rough for the last couple of years. They, Away games have been yeah. well, in the earth for them, really. Yeah. And this one, this one's a doddle, really. Absolutely doddle for them, And, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll touch on travel a bit later on, but it'd be quite an achievement for Kings to say that they've broken their ground record in two straight games <laughs> yes the last game of last season yeah, refers to this. yeah. The, um, the capacity is a weird one I noticed it, yes. it, it's exactly 1,963 that is such and precision work like I have no idea it must it's be worked out on square footage it must be something like that blades it, of grass you know it's, it's angles of slope yeah or wet finger in the air that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's three times uh, I understand that there's, there's another match not very far yeah, away on that yeah, day. Yeah, well, it is their problem that, um, you know, Kings Langley, I think it's about no more than two or three miles from uh, Vicarage Road, Watford's FC's yeah. ground, 
and on the same day they play Liverpool. Oh, no contest is there, really? No. Yeah. You were against Kings Anglia, wouldn't you? Absolutely, of course you um, Thankfully for us, it's actually uh, on TV, live at noon. So the that's, tra- that's Watford, Liverpool, yeah. not Kings Anglia. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. yes, yes, OK. Don't get worried, not that we're not on the box, but the fact it's not a noon kick-off. Yeah. yeah. So that's right. helpful in terms of traffic congestion, thankfully. Right. Um, so if the record's going to be broken, it's going to be up to us to do it, really, because yeah. the locals are going to have their heads turned. Yeah. Well, no, we can, yeah, I, it's pretty easy it's, ground to it's, find, isn't it? It is. It so is. It's just a mile off the M25. Well, don't go anywhere near the M25, though, if you can help it, folks. No, no. The road to hell and all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How far in total? Well, 124 miles one way. Now, I know that's annoying. That's precise people. as well, 124. Well, I've, I've seen some mention of 123, Frank. I mean, we may have to argue over this. Yeah, well, we, we, if we're going to argue about whether it's 124 and 23, we will certainly argue about the capacity of 1,963. <laughs> it's splendid. Actually, it? wasn't 1,963. Yeah, so wasn't that the, the last the last year that that ground was playable? <laughs> that's very that unkind, that's very unkind. But, um, yeah, let's talk about the ground, because it's, um, it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting, Mum. Now, our man Nick, Nick Jones, good on you, Nick, met the club secretary, uh, Derry Edgar, which is a great name, isn't it? Derry, Derry Edgar. Edgar. Oh. And it, works, it probably works the other way around, Edgar Derry, but there you go. He was the chairman uh, just two years ago, he's now the secretary. And a man positively beaming with pride at his little club, Austin in Step 3. So, you know, it's a village. About the same size, as we said before, as Bromyard. Oh, here we go. And, and to be honest, Gaywood Park looks a bit like Bromyard's ground. We've got to be Bromyard's honest about this. It's a lot better to me. <laughs> it's all Bromyard's ground of yeah. two months back. It doesn't look as bad as it's No, is, no. Oh, dear. So it's a village in London terms. Yeah. A town in Hereford terms. Yeah, so yeah. Right. yeah, I mean... The, the, the notice announcing Kings Langley says village centre, so they right, okay. certainly think they're a village. The ground's in a bit of a dip, shades are lark. <laughs> in more ways than one, I think. <laughs> yeah. more, more steep decline. Oh, oh it's steady. Yeah. Bit of lark, all bit of short wood in that, really. Right. Um, they've got a 250 seater stand, which bravely was built by the club members themselves. Out of scaffolding, so it sounds distinctly Meccano esque, doesn't it? Yes. But good on him for doing it because they had to do it, otherwise, they wouldn't get in, into step three. Either side, there's what you would call probably bus shelters, yes. Frank. Yes, yes, yes you yeah. like a good bus shelter, I really. Do, yeah. Even a modest one, I think you'd quite like. And, and I showed, showed you a picture of this the tiny little stand behind the goal, 50 seats. Excellent. And it's just nothing at all round. It's quaint, quaint, from isn't step it? five. Yeah, yeah, yeah very we quaint. Did, when we went to Winchester last year, you were disparaging. I'm being disparaging today, I know, but mm. you were disparaging. You said that Winchester got most of their uh, ground um, uh, stuff from uh, a selection of car boot sales. <laughs> I did not really yeah, say I, that. I didn't, well, yeah. I didn't know you could get scaffolding and scaffolding plants from Barbara Woods. You've got a fair <laughs> yeah, chance, really. Well, they, they've had to beg, steal and borrow, haven't they, one way or another. I think there's a couple more covered bits which Rushton Diamond's old ground provided. Right. Which is interesting. Now, the access, and when we mentioned the grounds in the dip, the access to the pitch side is down a slope. Which is why I say it's like Lark Hall. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. Now, it is fairly steep. Now, as far as Nick can work out, it looks doable for our disciples. Right. No but, crampons and ropes. No, no. Relays no. and whatever. Yeah. Slightly more concerning. It's probably relatively straightforward to go down. Going up is, is harder. Right. The disabled toilets are in the clubhouse at the top of the slope. So um, you, you might need a big push. You might need a very big push, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. Now, ticket prices. Well, um, I suppose we can say they're sort of London prices, really. Eleven pound for adults. Eleven pound. Yeah. Mind you, they probably people have said they're going to Egger Street, weren't they? Yeah. But uh, concessions price at seven pounds for mature people and two pound for kids. Now the programmes normally are a token one pound, but right. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a special just for us. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Car parking, we're assured it's not a problem. We'll just park on the training pitch. Oh, so it's not a rugby ground. No. No. <laughs> It's a point, isn't it? Right, what about the clubhouse? Clubhouse, yes, well, as you perhaps might expect, it's small, yeah. and it serves keg beer and um, lager, so, uh, right. yeah, you know. They are, however, because it's us, and, you know, the world-famous Hereford FC, 
they're planning to put together a beer tent and a barbecue for our visit. Excellent stuff. So that's that's good. You know, we're happy with that. The right time of year. Excellent. Absolutely. Yeah. And of course, it is a village, set in a village, so there's not going to be 20 pubs down the road. Um, the, the, just a few that you might want to think about. The nearest is the Toby Carvery. That's in Hempstead Row. That's a couple of minutes away. Now, Reg is taking his coach there, so you'll not be short of company if you right, go in there. Yeah. And you know what you get at the Toby. Yeah, um, Doom Bar. Unfortunately, yes. Mm-hmm. The, the Your s- favourite. It's back. It's rearing its ugly head already. It's the uh, £70 a barrel special, as I call yeah. it. <laughs> and I'm told that's, that's quite legitimate. And it'll be, it'll yeah. be four quid a pint there, isn't oh, it? Oh, Lord, can you imagine more. it? Yeah, I mean, the M25 make a, corridor. They oh, make absolute goodness. killing yeah. £70, £70 a barrel. No um, wonder people think it's good. They think if I'm paying that much for yeah. it, it must be good. <laughs> yeah. And the, allegedly there are a couple of guest ales, but you have to go and spot that one. Right. Now, if you're willing to uh, walk a bit further, the high street, about 15 minutes walk away, there's a couple of more interesting options here. Now, one that Nick, pick, Nick has picked out for us, it's a free house, it's 400 years old, it's called the Saracen's Head, and that's at number 47 High Street. Some, some good names, ESB, yeah. London Pride, Excellent. and Tring Ridgeway, which I'm not familiar with, it's clearly local. We'll find out. We certainly will. And on top of that, there's a guest beer, and there's lunchtime food to help, help knock it back with. Right. A few doors up, uh, there's an M&B house, the Rose and Crown, that's more of a gastro pub. But you they, mean it's gaffy beer, knowing M&B, anyway. Well, yeah. they're promising Adnams and Ubu, Purity Ubu, which okay. I quite, quite now, like. What about your usual cake? Well, by popular demand. Absolutely. By popular demand. There's got to yes. be a cake shop. Yeah, yeah, and it's not by my demand, yes. The coffee and cake option, as we might well call it. Can I recommend Fred and Ginger's Caff? Fred Astaire and Ginger yeah, Rogers. I'd probably something yeah. like that. Yeah. And that is more or less next door to the Saracen's Head. So, in fact, the Saracen's Head, the Rose and Crown, yeah. and the cake and coffee, Fred and Ginger's option, are all around the same sort of... Yeah, they're, they're a goal yeah. kicker part, yeah. basically. The TripAdvisor get very excited over it. They yeah. talk about big cakes and big salads. But it's going to be popular. It's going to be popular, yeah, right, so right. you're going to be early, or maybe standing room only. So there you go. The, the, okay. the effort we go to to keep our, both our listeners happy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, bit on travel, I and mean, we've touched on the mileage. If you want to go by train, it is doable. Um, bit of a chore. It's three hours, 20 minutes from Hereford with two changes. That's going to have to probably New Street and Watford Junction. Yeah. Um, and then you've got either 30 minutes walk or you can get a taxi for a fiver right so that's yeah. doable that's Kings Langley station or if you're coming from the south from Euston yeah two trains an hour 25 minutes there you are London and Bulls. Come from on, Euston London Bulls. We 25 need minutes and you can be yeah. at Kings Langley cheering on the, the mighty Bulls now we what need about you. Reg what about Harry Reg away yes days? indeed now we ought to say straight away Reg is only taking one coach yeah and it's nearly full I think right. there's 10 seats yeah. as of now um, 20 quid leaving Radford's at 9 o'clock picking up at Ledbury at 9.30 and then heading south as fast as they possibly can absolutely mm. well that's a, that's very short and sweet yeah but um, look at the photographs that are up on the Talking Bull website uh, I'm sure they're and Marvel and I have put a photograph at the beginning of this YouTube um, broadcast I, the photograph I've put on you will see it's very Lark Hallian because it's taken from the top of the slope oh, looking yes. down towards yes. the ground yeah. uh, so we hope to see you there uh, first game of the season it's uh, a couple of short weeks away now and that is the story of Kings Langley oh, very well said that man and we'll see you all again very soon This is Radio Hereford FC, the home of the Bulls. Match Day Live.